I'm Elena Losina. I'm a co-director of Orthopedics and Arthritis Center for Outcome Research from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And I am doing a research on public health impact of knee osteoarthritis and epidemiology of knee osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a debilitating condition which destroys the cartilage of the knee and also has some impact on bone and it leads to pain and limitations in functional status. So people with symptomatic knee osteoarthritis usually have a lot of pain and have difficulties walking and doing day-to-day -day activities. In the recent decade, we observe, we and others observe, that the number of total knee replacements increased dramatically, especially in younger people. We also observe that the prevalence of obesity, or the number of people who are obese, and the number of knee injuries that are occurring in younger people is constantly increasing. But to the best of our knowledge, there was no study estimating what is the age at which people are being diagnosed with symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. So we used the data from the National Health Interview Survey and coupled as with the computer simulation model of knee osteoarthritis and we estimated the average age at which people diagnosed with knee osteoarthritis now in the beginning of 21st century or early 2000s and compare it with the age at which people were diagnosed with knee osteoarthritis in the latest decade of 20th century or 1990s. This study was supported by National Institute of Health, specifically National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases. So what we found is that in early 2000s, people are diagnosed with symptomatic knee osteoarthritis at average age of 56, which is about 13 years younger than they were diagnosed in the late uh, 20th century, the uh, late 1990s. And especially people who are obese are diagnosed even earlier. They're diagnosed at average age of 54 years of age. Using the simulation, computer simulation model, what we found is that in next decade, we expect about 5 million individuals aged 45 to 85 will be diagnosed with knee osteoarthritis. And the number of people who will be diagnosed, uh, the most will be younger generation. So what we found is that compared to previous 20 years where people were more likely to be diagnosed at older ages. Now, majority of people with knee osteoarthritis will come to seek care at early ages in their 40s and their 